Mikey Hood here. If you've been scrolling through your Instagram or TikTok feeds, you've probably seen the latest craze in real estate. It's weird, wacky, unconventional, but really cool properties that you can actually buy, live in, or work in. So it got me to thinking, do we have any of these properties here in Pittsburgh? So it's a new segment we're doing here. We're calling it Bonnie's Hot Props, and we have Bonnie Loya here and her home buying buddy, Jet. Good morning, good, Bonnie. Good morning. It's great to see you. Yes, I know we have, I, we have to have properties here in Pittsburgh, right? We do. We have some great and amazing and unique properties here in Pittsburgh. I've picked five today that we can go through and you can see what Pittsburgh has to offer. And I've gotten a sneak peek at some of these properties mm -hmm. and they're pretty awesome. So let's start with a uh, church, a uh, former rectory of a church. That's right. On Pius Street in the south side, there's a church that, um, that was converted into condominiums. They are absolutely beautiful. They've maintained a lot of the architectural details, the high ceilings, the beautiful windows. Oh. And this condo has something that's really unique. It has a safe inside it, a safe room. I've always wanted my own safe house. <laughs> And if you're looking for a few extra bedrooms, you might want to check this next one out. Right, the Shepherd's Inn in Washington is a great venue. It's a, you currently used as a bed and breakfast. It formerly housed the um, president for W&J in the early 1900s. So the Shepherd's Inn, you could keep it as a bed and breakfast in a wedding venue, or you could convert it back into a single family home and enjoy all the beauty that this Victorian property has to offer. Yeah, and this next one is a wedding venue, but it has some real history to it. It does. This next one is located in the south side. It's on Sarah Street, and it has some real history to it as well. Um, currently, it's being used as a bed and breakfast, and one of the buildings actually houses the entire bridal suite for the oh. bride. And the upstairs, you can actually live in that and be on, on premises. But the really unique feature about this as well is that there's an underground tunnel and thought to have housed the Underground Railroad at one time. I love that. Yeah. That's so cool it and is. really unconventional. Mm -hmm. That's a great story there. So this next one, a lot of Pittsburghers might be familiar with this. It's a former donut shop, donut connection, right? Absolutely. So this property is actually for lease. And this provides um, people with an opportunity to start their own business and to lease the property as opposed to going out and buying it and starting their business. So it's a little bit better to start your business that way. Um, this property comes with a lot of great features. It um, could be used as a 50s diner. It could be a bakery. It could be a coffee shop. All the tables and chairs are included. There's a drive through with it. So you have a lot of opportunities to make it very creative. I agree. And it's making me very, very hungry. And Bonnie, what if you just want to move to the country? So we have a great property in the country. It was built in the mid 70s. The property has been renovated inside. So they still kept the architectural details of high ceilings with beams, beautiful stone fireplace. It's on three and a half acres. It has an in-ground pool. They updated the kitchen, the bathrooms. It has a projector room in the lower level. It's an awesome property. I love that, especially the pool. Yeah, yeah. I'm moving in, Bonnie. <laughs> yeah, there and you these go. are some really cool properties I would have never thought to invest in. So thank you so much. You're welcome. Pittsburgh has a lot of great things to offer. Yeah, and we hope that you found maybe your next real estate investment at home. There you go. Something to think about. <laughs> <laughs> well, our thanks to Bonnie and our home buying buddy, Jet, for showing us some of those hot properties today. They will be at the Home and Garden Show one week from today, mm -hmm. and so will we. We're excited about we it. We are. It's happening next Friday.